In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can style the avatar in the Divi comments module. The comments section on your site is a place where users can have important and meaningful discussions, but can tend to be a little bland if you don't put some effort into it. Today, I'm going to walk you through a few examples of how you can add a little more interest to your comment section by stylizing the avatars in your comment section. All right, let's dive into it. From our WordPress dashboard, we need to go down to our Divi theme builder. And here in our custom body we have, just click the pencil icon so we can edit our avatar. And now that we're here, we'll scroll down to the common section and then click the gear icon to bring up the module settings. Make sure that you're editing the comment settings and not one of the row settings. And now to start customizing our avatar, we're gonna do it from our design tab. So go ahead and click the design tab. And for this example, first let's add an image border. So I'm gonna make a solid border here. We're gonna add the width that we want. I'm gonna do about 10 pixels. And then I'm gonna make this border white. Now what I'm gonna do is add a box shadow. So we're gonna go down to where there's image box shadow. I'm gonna add a box shadow here. I'm gonna set the color to black. And then I'm just gonna adjust the position here. So I'm gonna make this negative 10. And for the vertical position, I'm gonna make this negative 10 as well. So now you can see we have a white border with a black solid box shadow that goes right above the image. Now you can see we have an issue where we're overlapping the content body with our avatar. So we're gonna fix that with a little bit of custom CSS. So in your advanced tab, we're gonna to go to custom CSS and scroll down to where it says comment meta. I'm gonna add a little bit of margin here. So we're gonna add a 15 pixel margin here. Under comment content, I'm gonna do the same thing. And under comment avatar, I'm gonna add this slight one pixel border as well. Now you can see that our avatar isn't overlapping the body. So let's go ahead and save that and let's see what that looks like. So that just adds a lot of interest to our avatars. It makes them stand out from just a solid square. The image control that we have is very powerful and we can do a lot more with these avatar settings more than just what we did in the previous example. So in this example, let's go ahead and change the shape of our avatar altogether. So again, let's open up our comment settings here and we're gonna go to the design tab and go back to image again. Now what we can do is we can actually round the image corners to make this a circle instead of a square. So if you have this linked, anything we change in one of these sections is gonna change in all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 55 pixels here and you can see that that's rounded this and made this into a perfect circle. So let's add another solid border here. This time I'm just gonna add about two pixels of border. And for this one, I'm gonna make it black. Now let's go ahead and make this stand out a little bit more and we're gonna do this again with another box shadow. So we're gonna scroll down and add this box shadow here. And then let's adjust the positions a bit. In our horizontal position, I'm gonna do minus 30 pixels. In our vertical position, I'm also gonna do minus 30 pixels. For our blur strength, I'm just gonna do zero pixels. And for the box shadow spread strength, I'm gonna do minus 28 pixels. So you can see this added a little circle above it as a nice little accent, but we don't want it to clash too much with the circle itself. So I'm gonna change the shadow color down here. Let's go ahead and edit this. And I'm gonna change it to this nice light blue. Thankfully, we don't have to change anything with the custom CSS on this one, as the avatar itself is not interfering with any of the elements on the page. So let's go ahead and save this one, and let's see what that looks like. So I'll refresh my blog page, and now you can see what that looks like on a page. All right, let's try another example here where we're gonna combine kind of the idea of the first one and the second example to make an interesting shape with our avatar. So again, we're gonna open up our common settings. We're gonna go to design and go down to image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round the corners of just the top, but leave the bottom a square. So I wanna unlink this here by clicking the little chain icon, and I'm gonna add 25 pixels to the top, 25 pixels to the top here on the left and right. And you can see this is now rounded the top of our avatar, but left the bottom a square. So now let's add a border again. So we're gonna do a solid border, and I'm gonna increase this to about 12 pixels or so. And then I'm gonna change the color, and I'm gonna make this like a nice dark blue. So now we can see with this thick border that we added, we have the same problem as in the first example where it's overlapping with the comment body. So we'll rectify this with some custom CSS. We'll go to advanced, custom CSS, and we're gonna scroll down to where it has comment meta. We're gonna add that 15 pixel margin on the left, and we're gonna do the same to the comment content. So you can see that fixed this, made sure that we don't have that issue with it overlapping. So let's go ahead and save this, and we'll refresh our page so you can see what that would look like. Let's try another couple of examples. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a slightly different rounded corner design with no border on the image itself. And we're gonna use a drop shadow as the main accent for our avatar. So again, we're gonna open up the comment settings. 
and we're gonna go into design and image. For this, I'm gonna round all the corners so we can link this again, and I'm gonna add 20 pixels to make it a rounded square. We're not gonna add a border this time, but we are gonna add an image box shadow. I'm gonna use the solid one before, the fourth one, and we want this to be at 10 pixels on our horizontal position, 10 pixels vertical, zero and zero for our blur strength and our spread strength. And you can set this to be whatever color you want. I'll just use a nice green here. And thankfully, like in the second example, we don't have to modify the CSS at all because it's not interfering with our comment body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save these changes and let's take a look at what that looks like on a live page. For our last example here, what I wanna do is add a box shadow to be the main interest point, but make it subtle yet still stand out. So we're gonna open up our settings again. We're gonna to go to design and image. This time I'm gonna leave the corners alone and I'm also gonna leave the border alone. And what I'm gonna do is add an image box shadow. We're gonna do the third one here. I'm gonna leave these at the regular settings of zero pixels, 12 pixels, 18 and minus six. And then I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna change this to RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.3. So we have a very, very subtle box shadow here. So let's go ahead and save that. And then let's check out how it looks on a live page. Those are just a few examples of how you can style the avatar for your Divi comment module. Be sure to check out the blog post in the description below. It has all the resources we use today, as well as examples and the CSS we use that you can follow along with to better stylize your avatars in the comments module. Be sure to check out some of our other YouTube videos that we have as well. We have so many different guides, tutorials, layouts, a bunch of good stuff. So check those out. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.